Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be comparing and talking about two new contour products that have come out. We have the Wayne Goss and the Patrick Ta. So if you want to see my thoughts and demo on these, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And two new notable contour products have come out. So I thought I would combine them into one video, tell you the differences, give you my thoughts because I know you guys have been asking. So I purchased both of these myself. So the first one that we are going to talk about is by Wayne Goss. Now, Wayne Goss released the Radiance Boosting Face Palette is what this is called. It is $45 and it comes in his typical black lacquered packaging. You open it up and you have two shades. Now one shade is supposed to be more of a contour shade so it's not going to have any shimmer. It's going to be flat and it's going to be more cool toned. The other shade is going to be more warm and have a little bit of a shimmer to it to give you that sun-kissed bronzed glow. So essentially one side is a contour, one side is a bronzer. This has a nine month shelf life and is made in the USA. This has three different shades. I only picked up the shade in the middle, which is called Satin Bronze. After watching reviews, I decided that this would be the best shade for me and I'm very happy with it. So here's what the swatches look like. So you can see, and keep in mind that these are face contour products, so you really don't want them to be too pigmented. Notable about this is that it also is an all powder product. Now, let's get into the new Patrick Ta Major Sculpt Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. Now, there's a lot of similarities with the Wayne Goss. Now, this is a few bucks cheaper. It's seven bucks cheaper. It is $38. There are also three shades each. Now, the Patrick Ta, I had a bit of a harder time deciding what shade to get so I ended up getting the two lightest shades. Now the packaging is very similar to what he already has in his line so it's no different and then you have a bronzer and contour duo. Let's see this one has a 12 month shelf life and is made in Italy. So the difference with this one is the top shade is going to be your contour but the contour is cream and then the bottom shade is going to be the bronzer which is powder. So the main difference between this and the Wayne Goss is that this has a cream contour which I love a cream contour so that really excites me I feel like a cream contour really blends into the skin and looks much more natural as opposed to a powder but both are great nonetheless I also love that he has a little screen over the contour part. Now here's where things got a little bit confusing for me as far as the shades. So I'm gonna show you the lighter one right here. This is the lightest of the Patrick Ta. It is called She's Statuesque. And when I opened this, I thought, okay, this looks like a good shade to me. And then I have Medium, which is She's Sculpted. You can see it's significantly darker than the light one. And I looked at She's Sculpted and I was like, oh no. This isn't going to work out and I just want to show you it compared to the medium shade of the Wayne Goss So these are both the medium shades. You can see the Patrick Ta is warmer and a little bit deeper Let's look at she's statuesque. I would say these two are a little bit on par with each other But I do think the Wayne Goss is kind of in the middle of the two. That's why it's so confusing So I'm gonna swatch the lighter of the Patrick Ta first so we're doing She Statuesque, and the Wayne Goss is on top right now. We're gonna do the contour right here, which is very light, and here's the bronzer. Not very comparable to the Wayne Goss. Now we're gonna do She's Sculpted, which is the deeper one. So here is the contour, and here is the bronzer. So the She Sculpted is significantly darker. So upon swatches, I would say, the darkest of the Patrick Ta is too dark for my skin tone. We're gonna start off with the Wayne Goss because I'm more familiar with this one. I've had it for longer and we're gonna do it on this side of my face. We're gonna start off with the contour side of the Wayne Goss. I'm using a rougher number five brush. See, and then I would argue that this shade, I do need to use a light hand on. Let me get a headband. So the Wayne Goss contour, I would argue I need to use a light hand with. It's not the perfect contour for my skin tone because again, I just feel like I'm right in between the lightest and the medium <laughs> shade. But 
It's a really nice product in that it blends really good. And I do think if I went with the lighter shade of the Wayne Goss that it would be too light for me, especially now that summer is nearing. But here is just what the contour looks like. So I'm gonna wipe off my brush and let's go into the bronzer. But I really wanted to go light-handed with the contour. It's a really nice color, a bit, I would say like two shades too deep for what I would prefer, but there's no perfect match for me, I feel like, in these. All right, let's go into the bronzer, which you can see is warm and it has more of a shimmer to it. And I really enjoy this bronzer. I think it's very pretty. I think if I go a little bit too heavy handed, this could look dirty on me. I will say that. But if you just use a light hand, I mean, everything is blending really nice and I have no complaints about this product. Just for me, before the summer starts, I need to use a lighter hand, but I think that once it's summer, this is literally perfect for me. But in case you were wondering, I really enjoy this. My only kind of gripe with Wayne Goss is I feel like we get too much product and therefore we have to pay more. And if you're gonna use this every day, definitely worth it. It's nice to have big wells of product. However, I know for somebody like me and a lot of the other people who watch me, my fellow makeup hoarders, I personally would prefer to have less product to pay less of the price. And for a situation like this, I think it's okay because this is a pretty frequently used product, but it's a continuing pattern in his line, and generally speaking, I would prefer smaller pants for a lesser price because $45 for just two colors, it definitely, it hurts. So, yes. But the product itself, very nice, very functional, nice color, easy to use. So, thumbs up from me. This is where things get a little bit confusing, okay? I'm gonna start off with She's Statuesque, which is the lighter one. And initially, I thought that this was going to be the color for me. Now, when I tested this out the other day, I'm gonna use a sponge. This contour does not show up on me other than leaving a very gray, unflattering cast. It makes me look a little bit sickly. So, immediately, I really can't use this contour shade. It's not flattering, it's not made for my skin tone, and then I was confused because I was like, okay, I guess this dark shade is the contour shade for me, and it is. This, as you can see, is a really pretty contour shade, so it does go on lighter than you would expect, and it blends in so beautiful, you guys. So the formulation on this A1, just as good as his cream blush, which I've talked a lot about. And I really enjoy this color on me. I think it's perfect. So maybe this is it, maybe this is mine, okay? But now I'm gonna use a Isam V49 brush. I did try the bronzer. I really like this bronzer. It adds a really nice warmth. So this bronzer is flattering on my skin tone. You see that? The warmth it adds is so pretty. It's much more warm than the Wayne Goss bronzer. Let me show you. Top is Patrick Ta, bottom is Wayne Goss. It has a little bit more of a yellowy undertone, which I think you fair-toned girls will really enjoy. But even on my light medium complexion, I love the warmth in this. I think it looks very natural and very pretty. But I did also want to try the She Sculpted bronzer. This looks very warm. So the bottom is the Patrick Ta. The top is the Wayne Goss, and you can see the Wayne Goss bronzer has more sheen to it, and it's a bit lighter. It's pretty much the perfect in-between between the Patrick Ta, the lightest one, and the deepest one. So I tried this, and see, I'm not the biggest fan of this color on my skin tone. Uh, it blends out to be okay if you use a light hand, just like I suggested with the Wayne Goss. The Wayne Goss does have a bit more of a pigmented formula, which is why I said you need to use a lighter hand, whereas the Patrick Ta is a bit more sheer. But this color, especially, I used it yesterday alone, and I just felt like it had a bit too much redness for my complexion. It was just a bit too warm. I prefer the bronzer in the lightest one. But I will say, with the combination of both of the Patrick Ta, I prefer the side of the Patrick Ta products as opposed to the Wayne Goss. And I think the reason for that is I just love the look that the cream products start off blending it and building with the powder on top of the cream has just made it look much more natural. So I do prefer the side of Patrick Ta. Let me build a little bit though. 
I'm gonna add a little bit more contour and then let's do the bronzer, which I much prefer the color of the bronzer compared to the contour in the Wayne Goss. The bronzer is my favorite part. We obviously layered more and had darker colors with the Patrick Ta, but you can see, don't look at this. <laughs> Here's how we're looking, and if you think I look a little bit dirty, it's just because I'm trying to show you the colors, so I applied more than I normally would. That's the difference between the products. So essentially, what I'm getting at, I enjoy the Satin Bronze from Wayne Goss on myself. I think it's a solid product. It doesn't leave me absolutely swooning, but it does a good job of contouring and chiseling the face. I just need to use a light hand until summertime when this will be more fitted towards my skin tone. The Patrick Ta. The formulation, absolutely beautiful. I honestly prefer the Patrick Ta formulation over the Wayne Goss, particularly the cream contours is what I'm in love with. And then I think the bronzers are easier to blend as well compared to the Wayne Goss, if I'm being honest. The formulation of Patrick Ta is better, but I'm not sure about these colors. I think the Patrick Ta is going to run deeper from what I've seen up from swatches. So if you do have a deeper complexion, maybe go towards the Patrick Ta. I think the Wayne Goss, it goes deeper than what I have, but it, I don't think it's as deep as the Patrick Ta. However, don't quote me on that because I don't own either of the deepest shades. But the thing that turns me off a little bit about the Patrick Ta is that I feel like I don't have my perfect color. Now, when it comes down to it, if you are asking me and you have a similar complexion to me, what color should you get? I'm going to suggest she sculpted only because you're able to actually use both of these products whereas the she statuesque you won't be able to because this for some reason looks sickly on my skin but I do really love the bronzer on this I think this bronzer is better I would love to have this darker cream contour here and the lighter bronzer but at the end of the day that is a personal thing if you are not in my skin tone range you're more fair than me or you're more tan than me then you will love these if you can get the perfect match for you so that's the only struggle I have I don't quite love his color combinations but the formulation is a1 as I expected it to be. We have it. That was kind of a quick video comparing these two products. So let me take my hair down. Overall, my kind of thoughts on these. I personally prefer the Patrick Ta formula. I think it's better. So if you really like the color options for you and they work for you, I would push you in the direction of Patrick Ta. And it is also a few bucks cheaper. But if you prefer an all powder formula, the Wayne Goss is still very, very nice. So I don't think you'll be disappointed with either. It's just getting the correct shade match because I feel like bronzer and contour is a very skin tone specific thing. I almost forgot, I don't have the highest quality swatch comparisons for you, but I did quickly run through some swatches just so you can see kind of how the colors would compare if it helps you choose the shade. So keep watching. It's not over yet. All right, so I'm swatching the Wayne Goss first with the Marc Jacobs Tantastic, not very close. Here's what it looks like compared to Gucci in the shade number one. It's way pinker. Now we have Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush number three, kind of matches the top shade of the Wayne Goss. Here's the lightest shade of the Patrick Ta and then the medium shade of the Patrick Ta. So the fifth shade down is gonna be the Marc Jacobs Tantastic kind of close kind of in between so you'll see i think this one's pretty close the gucci number one bronzer not really like any of them just a complete different undertone and then charlotte tilbury airbrush number three much more orange i feel like than the other ones in any way shape or form i hope this video was helpful to you guys if you aren't subscribed to my channel already i would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and i will see you all in the next one bye guys have a good one